Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 19 of Let's Play Sagan Densetsu 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I'm still in this cave on Buka Island, and still having to deal with these enemies. Pack on babies, and whatever else is heading my way, not much has changed. The thing in this cave, we ran into two golden mana goddess statues. And this is not even a halfway point of the game, pretty much. At least I don't think it is. Remember, I've never beat the game, so I don't know where exactly the halfway point begins or ends. But either way, we've been in here for quite a while. It's been a lot of battling we've had to do. It gets borderline ridiculous, and I missed the technique twice. Three times, actually. I'm only just now connecting. There we go. Took a bit of an ass kicking by Ceres. Well, from. And I did not mean to do that, but at least I got a mysterious seed out of it. I meant to open it with coal, but oh well. And now we're trapped. What the? Who's there? I am Dragon. I have come to follow through with the Dark Prince's prophecy to end your lives. Red Eyes, you're the one the slave trader was talking about. Give Elliot back! So, you must be his sister. I can't give Elliot back. The Dark Prince requires him. Who's this Dark Prince? And what have you done to Elliot? Dracula? Hehe. <laughs> I tell you, but you're about to die anyway. This volcano will erupt at any minute. And we have no way out. Oh no! The volcano! It's erupting! Oh, we're all gonna die now. Thanks for watching this LP, and it, it ended on a high note. For them, at least. Hey, Raphael, what's up? What's that? Is he here to rescue us? Uh, yeah, we might as well go for a ride. Better there than here, or it's gonna blow up. Well, this does not look feel very comfortable at all. If you have a queasy stomach, you're likely going to vomit a few times. Looks like we're heading over here to the northwest? No, we must be heading over to that flashing spot on the map. But wow, I mean, the northern part is very icy. I wonder when we'll get to go there. Oh, oh, here we go. We made it! Thank you for saving us! What do you mean, no? Everyone, I, I'm sorry to have taken so much of your time with the Rolot Stronghold. Let's hurry back to the King of Forcina to ask about the other mana stones. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Just where are we on the map anyway? Maya? Oh, yeah, we're back on the Golden Road. So to get to Forcina, we'll have to go to Maya to get shot through the cannon. Ah, uh, some things never change, am I right? At least these enemies are dying in one hit. Which is quite pathetic at best. Actually, since we're here... I'm gonna head over to Bizel so I can do some shopping. And then I'm gonna meet you back in Maya. Why don't you give me a few moments? Okay, several minutes and several thousand Luke later, I got back from the black market just to stock up on a lot of scales, claws, coins, what have ya. Anything to be well prepared for later on. Since I got a fair amount of seeds, like some item seeds for instance, so we get a Stardust Herb. Wow, this soil is badass. I'm gonna get a Dream Sea Herb. That's nice. And Pui Pui Grass. So every seed we got led to an herbal item, which is sensical, so to speak. Mysterious Sea gives us a honey drink. <laughs> Glass bottle and all. We can plant grass. And magic walnut. Well, that makes sense a little bit. 
The flying item seed, which is a shuriken. Nice. That could come in handy. And even if it doesn't, at least we'll have it. Or in the case we do. But now we need some rest. Ah, Gnome's Day. Happy Gnome's Day, everybody! Even though it's not a national holiday, but rather a day of the week. But in any case, let's go see Bon Voyage. Wait, does Maya have any new goods? I'm hard to take a look. It's been a long time since we've been there. No, they don't. That's okay, we'll manage. It's not like we're getting our asses kicked back up. Oh, wait. I set up the cannon travel routes, but it seems like everyone's afraid to ride them. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Anyway, if you want to go to Farsina again, go on out back. Maybe they just didn't want to go to the Highlands again. Which would explain the nerves. Wind okay! Direction check! Destination, Forcina. Ready for launch? Yes. Please shoot us in the right spot this time. That would be much appreciated. Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it! Oh, he got it right this time. Guess he isn't a total dumbass after all. Just a little eccentric. Ah, we made it back to Forcina and the cannon's still there, in case we want to go back. That's cool. Alright, let's see the king and report our status. We did find Jin after all, which was our objective. And we found Shade on the way as well, even better. You've returned! And with you are the spirits of light, earth, wind, and darkness. You still have four more to retrieve. I'm counting on you. Where are they? Oh, apparently there's one over there in the icy area. The Manastone of Water is in Altina, in a cave south of the snowfields. You'll find Undine there, but be careful. The stone's energy has already been released. Oh, now it's going to point me in the direction of another one. All the way to the southeast. A very long way to go. Looks like it's in a desert area. So I assume this could be fire. South of the desert of scorching heat lies the Valley of Flames. There you'll find the Mana Stone of Fire and its guardian spirit, Salamando. The only two that's left are practically Luna and Dryad. Southeast of here, you'll find the Moonlight Forest and the Mana Stone of the Moon. The beastmen inhabiting that area are quite strong, so be prepared. We gotta deal with the beastmen again? And over here must be where the Mana Stone of Wood is. It's gotta be a forest. Yep, it is. The Mana Stone of Wood is in the Forest of Wonder, but it's inaccessible by land. South of that is the Lampflower Forest in the Elf Village of Dior. The Fairy King lives in Dior. He knows more about the Mana Stone. Well, at least we have new locations on where to go. The giant turtle that carried you from Boca is known as Buskaboo. He normally doesn't interact with people, but perhaps he knew you were chosen by the fairy. I have a flute that was once used to summon Buskaboo, but it hasn't been used for ages. But now, if you go to a beach and play the flute, he should come. Go now. Take it. Okay. Uh, the Piara flute. I'll keep this here until you have room. Damn it, Cole! I mean, game. 
So, the bird scale can probably go in storage. Empty space, so I'll use that for the PR of flute. There we go. That's much better. Now I can put this to good use whenever we can find a beach. So the closest one that I can think of is actually near Maya. I don't remember seeing a beach around the Forcina area. Yes, I'm ready. But if there actually was a beach around Forcina that I couldn't got to faster than the one in Maya, I apologize. Nope, looks like I would have had to go a pretty good distance. If there was a beach at all. Closest beach I can think of definitely has to be here. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, so before we go, why don't we get some more chocolate? Would be a good idea for the long haul. But at least we have a mode of transportation, which is very vital to our success, and I just went to the wrong shopkeeper. Distinguish yourselves a little better, God! Oh yeah, I really need to buy some more chocolate. I mean, a lot more. Just wish you could actually select more than one at a time, like, I want to buy five. Okay, we'll put the five in storage at once. That would have been so nice. But sadly, we don't have that option. I would like to get some more loot in case we buy some more weapons and armor over at Altena. So let's get a move on. You guys can go to hell. Alright, so let's head back to the beach and summon Booskaboo. Like so. I laugh at Booskaboo says, That sucks! Play that beaver crap! Does he have a flag embedded in his shell? Because that's gotta hurt. Oh, now we can actually control him, which is really nice. I think out of all the destinations we can go to, the first one I will head for is the ice area. Oh god, sunset already. Now, where am I gonna find a beach? Jeez! Get it wrong, he's like... That does not sound natural at all. But I guess that's just the emulator sound card mixing with this game. Okay, so where am I gonna find a beach to? I need a spot to land. Since I gotta go all the way to, like, the western part of the island... You want to make a bet, I have to go all the way to, like, the eastern part. No, wait, there's actually a spot right here. Oh, it's quite dark and it's quite cold. Not a good combination. Elrond. Not affiliated with Elrond from Lord of the Rings. Apparently it's Christmas time. What items do you have that's any different from what I got in Maya? Nothing, actually. I don't really feel like buying items. I'd rather armor or weapons. What you got? Plate mail. Ooh, yep, I'm buying. It's scale mail. Chest guard. Or chain guard, actually. Yeah, I'll, equip, I'll buy and equip all this. But now I'm practically broke. Not gonna be much I can buy now. Unfortunately, but these are the breaks. You gotta spend money to be at your best. There we go. Now we can sell the leftover armor. Which might be enough for one extra weapon here. Probably not. It doesn't look like I will be able to buy anything else equipment-related. 
It's very unfortunate, but I expected that to happen. Okay, I can leave to go north. But the way to the Mana Stone is not to the north. It's rather to the south and to the west. Maybe I'll we'll talk to the populace for a bit. See, so I am in a new city. Oh, they must all be asleep. Aw, oh, she wants her mama. Don't run, Chi Chi! You'll fall! Chi Chi! Um, somebody must be dreaming of Dragon Ball. Moving on. Maybe I'm just better off talking to the people when it's actually daytime. Let's find an inn first. Is there anybody hanging around? Nope, doesn't look like it. You're no you're nobody, so you don't count. Ah, it's free! I love Mana Holy Day. Only because the stuff is free. Except for equipment. That's the sore spot of Mana Holy Day. It's just the infair that's free. Not the weapons or the armor. That sucks. Oh yeah, more people around to talk to. There's more and more icebergs every day! I wonder when the next ship will be able to arrive! Oh, you tell me. This is the Snow City, Elrond! Wait, that snow? I thought that was cocaine, man! When you plant a seed in the pot at the end, it grows instantly! Why am I being this- being told this now? What? No more ships are coming? No, but there's a turtle! Turtles are nice. You like turtles? How much are the weapons? Oh dear god. Bastard Sword 1690. Glaive 1450. Misery Cord. Misery. Pointy thingy 1300. The Misery Cord. Ugh. What's all these complicated names? You need a language class just to know about them. Hey, hey. The Magic Kingdom of Altina is west of here. Beyond the Sub-Zero Snowfield. Oh, that's cool. The Sub-Zero Snowfield is just south of here. But there's a colony of monsters there now. As to be expected. But what was over to the north? Could the Kingdom of Altina be over there? Or probably just another beach area? Not a ship. But with the icebergs, the ship can't go. That was just the port, rather. But I suppose I could take a look, little quick, quick peek at what's outside and what kind of enemies I should be expected to fight. But first, let's over to the pub. Get to know some new people. Go west through the Sub-Zero Snowfield and you'll come across a maze of ice. I hear the Queen of Reason gets her magic energy from a mana stone located there. A maze? That doesn't sound very reasonable. What a terrible queen. Funny, Elrond used to be a warm, temperate place like Altina, thanks to the queen's magic. Now it's back to cold again. Has she abandoned us? Uh, maybe she wasn't there to begin with. Hey! You must be cold, dressed like that. Stay here and warm up for a while. Just how far is Altina from Elrond, anyway? It can't be very far. Oh wait, that was just heading back to the beach. So, what kind of enemies can I expect to fight? So far, none. Oh, oh, there's a Sahagan. I wonder if this guy is pissed that I've been using his scales for quite a while. 100 Harpoon Stab! Uh, E-Honda, I think somebody's been stealing your move. Just for the harpoon instead of, well, slapping. So a seahorse-like creature. How are you doing? Oh yeah, I could really use those new weapons in a bad way. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked. What else is new? 
I think I'm a little under leveled at this point. Then maybe I should at least be 16 or 17 before attempting this place. But I'm not dying badly. So I guess levels aren't extremely urgent. Oh, we're trapped. This was a troll room. Sahagan, Pack on Lizard, and Sea Serpent. Oh, Bong is down. Oh, Cole is down, actually. Man, we really need funds in a bad way for more items. No, you will not be stabbing us many times. Not even once. Let alone a hundred. Damn it, Cole. You're always so dependent on us. When are you gonna stand up for yourself, man? Damn, these enemies can take quite a beating. I don't want to use my stat enhancing items because really there's no reason. For just standard enemies. If it were bosses, however, I would. Anyways, let's check out like one more screen and then I'll stop recording. Now that I get the gist of what I have to deal with. It's clearly a lot of stuff. Oh crap. But I think given the circumstances, we'll still do alright. I say that I need to use another pack on chocolate. I want to get a lot of loot from these guys, because I could really go for those new weapons. Oh, Bonga leveled up. So, I will go with Spirit. That's much better. Alright, I think I'm going to stop the video here. Next episode, I might do a little bit of training. I'm not going to guarantee that I'll gain a level. But I should pick up some more Luke. Anyway, see you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.